Hi, Steve Von Brand here for the Bass College. Just thought I'd give you an idea how you can set up a small boat to be more functional. This is the 14-foot V-bottom that I use for just the small lakes and ponds where we're not allowed to launch our nitro or the launching ramps are just too bad, you can't get it in. So um, what I've done was I've replaced the uh, uh, floorboards uh, with a, a flooring that I've made with carpeting on it. I've carpeted the seats. And then you add in the rod holders here so that you can use uh, all your rods. And uh, they're not going to jump around in the boat. They're real functional so you can get right to them. Um, on both sides, you can see I've got them set up on how I'm going to be using. The ones I use the most are on the right here. The chatterbait and the power tackle lateral perch, the flipping rods and the uh, chatterbait, the spinning rods are over here on this side and then with the one swim bait rod over here. So it's real functional. You can re grab everything you need. You just uh, The low pedestal seats, you're not real high because uh, it is just a V bottom and uh, the higher seats aren't as stable but nice seats so that it's comfortable for you. I've uh, taken and uh, got a piece of uh, thick piece of steel and uh, this is mounted to the front here you'll see. Uh, so that you can mount the trolling motor on here. So I have the trolling motor mounted on the front on the V-bottom without having to install a great big deck or anything like that. So you can use the trolling motor right here on the front. Uh, you've got your outboard on the back. I've got a 5 horsepower Mercury on the back. That's a new one. I just picked that up uh, for $9.99. Kind of expensive, but uh, you, can, you really need an outboard motor of some type even in the smaller ponds. You know, burn out your uh, trolling motor battery and when that wind comes up it's pretty bad. Uh, you can see I put a deck on here so that you can actually stand up on this. You can stand on this deck and then I have it rigged so that it's removable. So if you wanted to, if you needed more room for two people that uh, came with you in the front you actually could take this deck off but you can jump right up on there and stand on that if you need to be up higher to flip into the docks. Uh, it's a real functional type of a small boat so you can modify these small boats like that so that they're uh, more convenient for you, more fun to fish in. And you see I mounted these trays in the back. Uh, what these were were just actually old ice cube trays out of a refrigerator uh, that we didn't use anymore. So I took them out. You can see I painted them and then you just mount them right to the boat. So you can put in uh, your boger grip in there I have in there and uh, scissors, things like that, uh, knives. Uh, in the back over here on the other side I mounted another one. Uh, you can put in all your sprays and pliers, whatever you want. So uh, tackle trays that normally would cost you about 30 or 40 dollars out of Bass Pro Shops magazines. You, that cost you nothing really. So you can see how that's set up. Um, so with the outboard on the back and uh, the trolling motor on the front, it's a real functional boat. And you can see down here uh, to stabilize the uh, trailer bunks so they don't swing around. What I've done was taken pieces of metal, uh, bent them in a vise uh, on each end and then attached them to the bunk boards to stabilize them so they don't move sideways or up and down and replaced the trailer lights with submersible trailer lights and added bearing buddies to that. So you've got yourself a nice little setup, a real functional small boat. Until next time, when uh, the weather gets good in a couple weeks, we'll see you down there on the water.